Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, which means that I love love, but I also love playing video games. And today we're back in Baldur's Gate 3. I've just officially completed Act 1, which I'm very excited about. We are stepping into Act 2 and uh, we have a little mage friend up the top here. Oh, let's read this plaque first. I have no idea what awaits us and I'm a little bit scared, but also excited. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Ooh. I'm ready. Why don't I lead the conversation with Shadowheart? What happens if she reads we this? We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Now we did have this mask from last time. Beneath a layer of dust, the mask still gleams, an innocent smile and wide searching eyes seeking its own kind. Devil foil mask. And when I picked it up, so I can't remember which party member, maybe it was Astarian, said, oh, that seems a bit strange. So I'm just gonna experiment a little. Ourselves to the darkness, the blessed Shah may mm. give us her mercy. Don't know. All right, let's try wearing it up the stairs and we'll talk to this weary traveler. Hello, weary traveler. Yeah, in a little conversation. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Oh my God, it's Stay a Gandalf. Of course, a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? What the hell? Yes, but what do you want with him? Oh my god, by the way, Shadowheart looks freaking ridiculous in that mask. I'm going to take it off as soon as I can. So as a matter of fact, I do. He's resting at camp. May I inquire who is inquiring? Gale, you say? Never heard of him. Um, what if he means Gale harm? Who's inquiring? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you? Well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown? I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. Do we trust or no? Um. Why don't. Okay, yeah, we do know Gale. Uh, ever a man of leisure. <laughs> Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? What? It would be my pleasure. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding our camp without my assistance. I'll see you there later. Uh, I mean, we could go now. And I would confirm it to be so. Please, after you. Okay, first of all, let's take that stupid mask off. <laughs> um, let's go back to Smocks. Who's no, that? Is that Holson? Must be Holson through there. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Should I talk to Gail before? Oh, look at this beautiful tree. I forgot to look at the camp. This is nice. A little bit eerie, but nice. Already feeling better. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. Then I'll see your delicious self tonight. Let's talk to Gail first before I talk to this wizard. Mm. Much as I enjoy our conversations, I think it's Elminster we should be catching up with. Are you mad Unless at me? <laughs> there's something more pressing you wish to discuss. Uh. 
I just totally shut me down. Ah, there you are. Now, I hope you don't mind my having ingratiated myself into the most palatable graces of your provisions. You find me quite sated indeed. Oh, just help mm, yourself. <laughs> yes, what a delightful wedge of old Arthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should oh be my God. savored. Hurry so up. To better absorb their meaning. Is Gail and this guy <laughs> related? Alminster. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you see... I, um, well, that is to say... Oh my god, this guy is funny. Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf <gasps> of Mistra. What? The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Uh, what? <laughs> you were sent here as an actual divine messenger? I'm surprised she sent you in the first place after Gail's debacle. What message and what charge would that be? Speak fast then, for none of this pertains to me. I'm surprised she sent you after Gail's debacle. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. <laughs> Oops. You know where you went wrong, Gail. <laughs> no, we needn't dwell on that here and now but even so you're to be given a chance of redemption um. Mr. would consider forgiveness she would consider what she considers to be forgiveness oh no Mr. is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both oh no she knows of your strife with the absolute that most insidious of evils. Oh, whoopsie. Well, we were kind of just leaning into the whole absolute thing when we wanted. So. <laughs> if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? Some all-powerful parasite withering spell, perhaps? Um, well, if the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? Probably because, anyway. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself. And by the same token, do not discount your enemy you must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive oh. it threatens all who live even those who are undying it threatens the gods the weave the very fabric of the universe itself that don't, is why don't show I your have brand. I'm here <laughs> to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Gail alone? How so? Mistress is mistaken. I will be the Absolute's destroyer. Hogwash, idle beliefs, and false hopes. Gail alone? How is Gail going to do it? The orb. Inside Precisely. you? Oh, Mistra God. has granted me the power to <gasps> stop the clock, as it were, on the orbs rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to no. unleash its lethal combustion at will. No. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. Mistress being a total you cow. Must find the heart of the absolute. What, and then explode Gale? Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the uh, 
Oh Catalyst my gosh. That will burn it from this world. <laughs> That's monstrous. You're asking him to kill himself. Say what you will, but you can't force Gale to go through with this. We'll be rid of both the Absolute and Gale in one fell swoop. <laughs> win win. Holy dilly. Uh, well, this is Gale's decision. Say what you will, but you can't force Gale to go through with it. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me no, she wants no you to. saying this, my friend. But such is Mistress Will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Oh. Such is Mistress Promise. Oh my god, is Gail like gonna be like a Jesus figure? <laughs> the need only bestow unto thee. The charm I was bid. Oh god, who, what the hell's happening? It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. Huh? To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Oh, God. Well, do I keep him in my camp then to really keep him safe so he's not in battle? Or do I take him with me? Why do I kind of want to just swap out Lazelle for him? But Lazelle is doing so much pew pew right now. Hmm. And we're entering the Shah bit, so I don't want to get rid of Shadowheart because I feel like she'll have some good things to say. All right. On my honor, it shall be done. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. I am not his keeper. I do not accept your charge. Oh, God. What do I pick? I'm not his keeper, but. He's my party member and I liked him and he was my second choice for romance, but oh well. <laughs> um, I mean, there is a still a long journey, but... Oh, I don't want to fuck up the story, though. I'm just going to say there's still a long journey. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas... So too, the skies driven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself, even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Okay. Jesus. Um, all right, uh, let's talk to Gail. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I'd always imagined Elminster to be more imposing. I don't even know who Elminster is. <laughs> An old man with a craving for cheese? Hardly the great wizard of legend. He didn't seem much, uh, he didn't seem much a friend, showing up and demanding you kill yourself. Actually, I was hoping to talk about something else. Well, I don't think he did seem much of a friend. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For mistress to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering going, doing what Elminster said? I'll leave you to your thoughts. Are you seriously considering it? Of course. 
We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Oh my gosh. And the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Oh my god, why am I feeling really like... I don't want this. <laughs> I don't understand. Can't Mistra just destroy the absolute or Elmin Elminster himself? So that's it? You're on a suicide mission now? There's surely another way. What about me? Am I safe around you? Whatever you need to do, I'll be there to help. Um. But yeah, well, why can't Mistra do it? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. I, um... Um... There's surely another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. That's fair. But alas. <laughs> Only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. But Gail, Mistra doesn't give a shit about you, and now this is just another layer of that, I feel. <sighs> okay. I'll make sure we find it, Gail, I promise. You're not blowing yourself up, Gail. I won't let you. If he really wants to do it, we'll go for it. <laughs> Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. Well, um... <laughs> gotta say that that is not how I expected this to start off. Um... Well, actually, Gail, yeah, you gotta join my party now. What's on your mind? Is Mr. always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. How are you feeling? It can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to focus on the positives. The truth is I was living on borrowed time already. <laughs> Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Okay. I guess. All right, join I'll me. I'd be delighted. Though, someone else will need to watch the cook pot, of <laughs> course. Um, yeah, take Lazelle's place. Magical. So, shall we? We shall. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I don't know why. I feel very, um, I don't know. I'm kind of saddened in a way. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. Oh, Astarian, don't tell me you have a heart, mate. <laughs> That's very cute, though. What do you have to say, Shadowheart? I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. This is interesting because all of them seem to like rat on each other, but then they've 
obviously not stupid enough to completely dismiss the, dismiss the fact that Gale is actually a very amazing wizard. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale's sacrifice Yeah, I agree. Himself, and perhaps so many others. Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Wow. Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Yes! Uh, perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Mate, Liz Lazel, I'm so on the same page as you for once. Oh my god, this game is amazing. These companions are freaking fantastic. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. We're in the midst of the Shadow Curse now. Is there any more you can tell me about it, about how to lift it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being in the form of a young fae boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations. But since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. The land is called Thaniel. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. Okay. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. Okay. What should I look for exactly? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. Aw, cute. You're welcome. Perhaps I could share more than a campfire and some company. Don't get too sentimental. I uh, had need of a guide in order to survive this curse. I'm glad, but let's keep focused. <laughs> Perhaps I could share more than the campfire. Hmm. I can think of a thing or two. But in truth, it is for the best that the curse consumes my thoughts for now. This is the best chance I've had in a century. I cannot squander it. But if I succeed, if I break the curse, then perhaps there will be time for myself again. And for others. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's leave the camp. This is good. Okay, oh, what's that? Nether Reese Orb Blast. Uh, oh, Gail triggers the Nether Reese Orb Blast in his chest, destroying everything and everyone in a wide radius. Yeah, that doesn't sound like <laughs> doesn't sound like a good idea. At least things have stayed interesting. So where was the um the wizard? He was standing. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, expedition key. <gasps> Let's Might get that. Be useful. Old architectural collection. Cursed. 
Yellow book contains a series of architectural plans. One shows an elevator leading from the wilds outside a town called Wreathwin to the Underdark. Oh, Sugar, you know what we didn't do? We didn't go back to the Arcane Tower. Oh, I can go back there. Okay, well, we're in here now. Let's keep going. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm excited, but I'm very... Oh, oh hang on. Broken mountain lantern. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Is this the moon lantern we've heard so much about? It must be. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Ugh, it's broken. It won't save us from a dusky evening, never mind a curse. Hmm. Investigation. Inspect the lantern for more detail or arcana. Examine the dust within the lantern. Let's do the arcana. Looks like we've got a better sort of roll on that one, maybe. This is pixie dust. Pixie Used dust. to illuminate a lamp. Or left behind after a pixie's death. Oh. Alright, let's investigate it. Damn. Seriously? Let's go again. Nice. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Oh, we have a wizard in the party. Maybe Gail could do it. Can Gail do something? Ah, an excellent choice. A broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. I don't know if this is going to work at no all. Burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. This is pixie dust used to illuminate a lamp or left. No, okay. I have a lot on my mind. Well, let's pick it up. Well, in it. Because uh, we probably could use it. Should mind my step. Oh, Adept of the Absolute? Orders. I have been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to Grimforge for future expeditions. True Soul Near will follow once the entrance is cleared. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What might we find here that Catherick created so long ago, now sealed by the curse. Grimforge could hold untold treasures for the Absolute's uses. I will continue to explore the document my fi and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble, quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I am not as experienced in such matters as I wish to be. I set up the explosives with care, though I admit I almost I'm almost afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what might lie beyond, or whether I'm even, uh, I've am even i even set things up correctly. Absolutely protect me. You know what would be fun as well to like, because I feel like I've chosen like the absolute sometimes, not absolute, been bad, been good, whatever. It'd be fun for a next playthrough to stick to something where I know I don't know a little bit about things to say all right I'm not going to go with the absolute stuff like screw that you know and see where that goes or just completely commit to it <gasps> what is this those shadows there's power coursing through them Oddly familiar. Better stay on alert. A ruined. I've lived in darkness for centuries, but never found any like this. Unsettling. Oh God! Well, if it's you're the only unsettled. Way to Moonrise Towers. We have to push through. Oh God! This screams already. Oh, you know what this is giving? Um, this is giving like. 
old vampire y Castlevania sort of meets um, one of the parts of the world in World of Warcraft. I can't remember now. Um, very cool. Looks like that's moving. Mate, I'm gonna get. Oh, what's this? More for me. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. But is that because you're a follower of Shah, though? The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. <laughs> Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. Okay. She loves me. She must do. Oh God, shut her heart. <laughs> but what about me? Don't get carried away. This could be something else. So what does all this mean? It could be something else. Carried away? Hardly. The proof is right there. Just be grateful someone can handle this place. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Yeah, agreed. So, let's consult the map. Oh my gosh, look how big this place is. Crash? Path to Crash Yellick. Follow the convoy. What's this one? Infiltrate Moonrise Towers. Oh my gosh. The, uh, this game is just freaking massive. I don't... Oh my god. It's going to take me freaking forever to bloody finish it. What's over here? The sounds in this place are incredible. Dead Druid's Journal. Wood would not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. Deep darkness. Flames are instantly doused. Ah, the wound stings. Flesh is turned to black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. Something to do with the shadow curse? I truly hope this blight isn't spreading. Oh, God. The dark lady shields me. I can feel her. Okay, we must be on the right track. I swear, I just heard a scream. What do I feel like I should put the torch away? <laughs> what oh, a boar. The animal never had a chance. Curse consumes everything it touches. You're right. Looks like a starian stuff. <gasps> What's that? Harper Lysandra? The Harpers. Wait. Harpers. Pretty sure that we've heard about a Harper before. Oh, we're gonna have to go talk to them. Oh my gosh. Stay together. Keep to the light. Lower your weapon first. My name is Smox. Who are you? An escaped lunatic. Be careful. A nightmare in the dark. I find the best introductions are made with sitting around a fire, perhaps with a drink. I'm a nightmare in the dark. All right, freak. <laughs> a starian. Do 
just me. No, my party's not coming. Jonas, look out! What is it? Oh gosh, Jonas, what is it? Ah! No, Jonas, no! You are so young. <laughs> Jonas, can you see our torches? I can't see anything. So, something's wrong. Uh-oh. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Uh, uh, who's there? Meg? Is that... <laughs> Poor Jonas. Oh, who is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Abandon them. Hope they die. Try to save them. Get ready to fight. Move. I'll take care of this. Um, let's get ready to fight. I love how Gail approves. What else did you think was going to happen? Like, we're not just gonna, like... We've got to progress. What the fuck? A shadow. Excellent. Oh, Jesus. That was quick. My gosh, Astarian, you are very impressive. Oh, the Shadow Curse. Wait, what? What did he say? I could. Oh no. Losing energy. Losing focus. The Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks and develops in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid the most lethal effects. Oh, so I'm supposed to light these braziers? All right. Oh, I still have my torch on! <laughs> That's alright, I know what to do now. Strength drain. Oh, that's alright, it's Gale. Shit. Oh my god, we don't take a turn for ages. All right, so we need to light these braziers. I need to stand next to a starian. Oh no, I'm not going to bother standing next to a starian because these things are moving about all over the place. Uh, for a starian, do bardic inspiration on him. Um. I wonder if I should cast this. All targets within the light turn visible. Do I need that? No. I mean, I can see them anyway. Can't I? I think the fairy fire was a little bit, um, I don't know, unnecessary. What about this though? Dancing lights. Illuminates nine meters. I could try it. I could just put it right here. Let's see. I think that's a good idea. I'm not entirely certain. Um, I'm just going to stand right here, I guess. This seems to be middle of the road. Alright, Shadow Heart. Can you like jump up here and light the brazier? Okay, cool. I feel like that was a good move. <laughs> um, and then can we bless as well? Nothing. 
Okay, cool. You did a good thing, Shadow. Gone from the weave. Alright. Why don't you get this guy? Oh, he's immune to poison. Alright, fair. I should have moved Shadow Heart. Okay, Astarian. Um, Alright, we'll just have to do normal attacks, that's fine. Sounds like fun. Beautiful. Oh, ability drain dexterity. Oh, that's right, because we took that um Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hit him for one, I love it. Oh shit! There goes Megan. Um, yeah, sure, we can use the potent dice. What if we kill all the shadows but don't kill... Not Yone, what was the guy's name? <laughs> Yone. Uh, if I move close to Gale and I throw a healing pot, that might be a good idea. Nice. Jonas, that's right. I wasn't too hard. It wasn't too far off saying Yone. <laughs> All right, come this way. Keep guessing. Time to press ahead. Oh my god, I still don't have my bloody weapon on. <laughs> oh, I can't even equip it. That's funny as hell. Scorching Ray. Ooh, what does it hit for? Oh, 3 to 36. No way. Let's do... One, uh, can I see this one up here? No, I can't. Let's do this. One, two... Three. That was awesome. Sweet. Death is but a word away. Perfect. I don't have advantage. But that guy's standing right next to him. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Beautiful. Now there's somebody else up here, so... Can't go there? Oh, Shadow Hut's in the way. That's alright, we'll stand down next to this guy. Oh, I get knocked out of invisibility because I keep taking the psych psionic damage. I don't even know if it's necessary to light the brace here. <laughs> what if I did cast this one? Maybe come up closer, Smox, and see if you can cast this, because this guy keeps going... Keeps going invisible. You can hold on, mate. I know you can. I know what 
to do. Battle of Wits. That's right, Gail, a battle of wits. Okay, Shadow Curse is gone, that's cool. the shadow died yes here Yes, do. No? Alright, whatever. Did they go into the rock? Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> Nice one. Allow me to demonstrate. What do you do if you hit with that thing? Zero to seven. <laughs> do you have a freebie actually? Oh, you've got guidance. Is that a necklace? Yeah, it's the necklace. Okay. Such a freak after all. <laughs> a safe place. Let me mark it on your map. Thank you. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place? You mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? I'll follow in a moment. But thanks. Oh, thanks, but I'm heading to Moonrise Towers. Your funeral. As far as we can tell, there's no way through. The shadows will get you eventually, the deeper in you go. Keep to the light to buy yourself some time. Harpers, move out! Okay, well, thank you. That was very interesting. Can't slow down. Let's see what this does. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. The patrons made a mess of things again the night before. Mm. Oh no, what the hell? So am I gonna go into shadow mode like, I mean turn-based mode all the time? Oh because my torch isn't out. Oh shit. <laughs> Mate. Gale's down. Wait, let's oh, let's leave camp. We're going to shot rest. Oh, welcome rest. Quick, quick, quick. Get next to this brazier. <laughs> Gail? Oh dear, is that because I touched the shadow vestige? Might have been. Oh Jesus. So this is literally going to happen every time. How do I prevent this? Oh, my torch of course. Oh, 
Okay, so everyone likes that when I have the torch out. Okay, that's all right then. As long as we can move around the world, then we'll be okay. A night orchid. Well, hello. Maybe I'll need more pockets. That's a new one. The protection. Let's go to that protected place. Which way do I go? East. West. Jesus. <laughs> I guess I'm heading over there. No, I feel like this is the opposite direction of where I want to go. <laughs> but Shall there's a we? chest here. Find a spot for an ambush. I mean, it could. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, sugar. Seriously? So are we in combat or not? Maybe I should use my advantage that I'm forward. Not enough movement. No, okay, let's just take out this. Let's dance. All right, so now we are in combat. <laughs> That's okay. Beautiful. Oh God. Why did he die? What did he die from? Uh, what can these guys be resistance is necrotic resistance okay can I use my ray of sickness on you to do extra damage oh yes I can um mm. yeah I know Astarian um Gale does not have much health so let's go back here Okay, you're gonna go I'll pick up right Astarian. And you're going to heal Astarian. For five? Oh god. Um move close to this one. Oh, can you, um, bite these? No, damn it, because it's a plant. Hit for four, that's good. Alright, you. Oh no, you need to stay with Gale, because he's going to get the shadow curse thing. Ah, bugger. Let's bless everybody. I can't bless him? Is that because he has that blade ward on? Oh, now I can. That's weird. Okay. Um, no, that'll break my concentration, won't it? I'm not sure. Let's heal Astarian. That was a good one. Okay. They're all grouped up. I wonder if we could use our groupy um, plant thing. Oh, that looks like a big one. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll use that AOE ability of um, Shadow Hearts, maybe. That could work. Why do I not have advantage against these targets? Because I'm standing right next to them with somebody else. Doesn't matter, I guess. Well, let's do it on this one. 
immobile. Oh, I'm not standing right next to them. Okay, that's good. Ah, oh, Starian man. Okay, I have a feeling a Starian's gonna go down. A magic weapon. Infuse a weapon with arcane energy. The weapon becomes magical, receiving a 1 plus attack to damage rolls. Rate of frost. Reduce the target's movement. What about grease? I don't know if this helps, but let's just give it a go. Okay, it helped on some of them. That's good. Stand next to Shadow Heart, maybe. Just for the light. I'm scared of that Shadow Curse. Okay. Um. Let's CC the big one. Oh, damn, it didn't work. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Let's throw a big healing pot. Oh, I can't throw it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, they're plants. What if I threw a fire thingy at them? Let's try it. I can't tell if that was good or not. <laughs> um. I wonder if I can throw one of these health pots. Oh, I can't bugger no action. <laughs> Oh my god, Astarian honestly just needs so much healing. Oh, a crit miss, nice. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Oops, I didn't mean to drop it. I wanted to throw it. <laughs> Please don't count that as a go. Oh, thank gosh. Let's do this. All right. Awesome. Um So where are our enemies? There's only two left. Oh, it's wet. Do we have an electric thing? Uh, 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 for the Wait, no, there's that guy as well. Can we take you out? Don't step in the fire, please. How about that? Oh god, you had to hit for two, didn't you? He's only got for one. I don't want to waste an attack on that. <sighs> Let's go a big boy one on this guy. Target is too far. Okay, just move up a little then, eh? Or five. Let's go. Okay, that wasn't bad. Let's move up. <laughs> That's all right. Um, oh, you've still got another go. Oh, no, you don't. You can't throw. Damn. Let's move up. 
put ourselves in the firing line. Oh, they're in the dark. Uh-oh, what the fuck is this? Gail needs a 14 to save. They're at a 4. That's fine. Alright, Astarian. Um... One, one. May as well just take this guy out. Oh, I see it explodes. Oh, that's what killed us. Um, maybe come back towards Shadowheart. A better position. No, not that close to that guy because he's going to explode. Actually, that was silly. That's all right. Whoa! It's only got four health left. <laughs> Gail, that was impressive. If this is worth the cost. Um, if we move back and then throw a dissonant whispers on it. Beautiful. <laughs> so now we just literally have this one here. Beautiful. Dude, this has been intense. But I am loving it. Okay. Oh, that's the chest I wanted to get. Oh, we've all leveled up. Hang on a second. Let's loot our shit and then get going. Let's well, short rest. Hello. That took the edge off. Don't mind if I do. Oh, signpost. Let's read this one. North, last light in. South, Risen Road. West, Rythwind oh, Town. Oh, we need to go to Rythwind Town. So that's like this away. But the last light in, that's the safe place. Um, let's go back to the town. Yes, let's. Oh, for God's sake, this whole shadow thing is really annoying. What are you being? Oh, is it these plant guys? Oh, it's because the Starion has the boots on that means that he doesn't get like stopped by any kind of terrain. <laughs> Gail, you're so dramatic, brother. A raven. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Come on. Oh my God. Okay, I feel that a disengage is coming and then throw one of these alchemist fire. That's the only thing I can think to do. Magnificent. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, good. That worked really well. My faith will protect me. What 
What if we kind of do the same? Oh, you don't have one. Oh, they've only got a one HP. What about this? A crit miss. Fabulous. Can't even catch my breath. Need like a uh, something that like radiates damage. At the ready. Oh no, I best not leave too far from them because I think do I have my torch out? Oh I can't stop again. Doesn't matter. Tail for the ages. May it please, Mistra. Oh, that's a huge radius. Do we get done by that? Let's just test it. Oh shit. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, well that's interesting. Channel Divinity, Cloak of Shadows. Wrap yourself in shadows to become invisible? What the hell? <laughs> so where's the inn? It mustn't be far. Over here. So we go down along this path and then in here. It looks like it's in this section. Oh, and it's got that big bubble around it. Alright, I wonder if we can make it there. Oopsie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's bad. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Don't maybe don't jump from so far. <clears throat> Alright, cool. <laughs> have to keep going. Mate, I might get ambushed again. If I do, I'm probably dead. This place is protected. Oh, For a warm must be the refuge the harpers spoke of. Look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be welcomed. I mean, uh, oh, what's down there? Oh, that looks like a chasm that we could jump into. <laughs> um, all right, let's try to come in the door. No shadows here. Oh. Something must be keeping it at bay. That doesn't sound good maybe I should long rest before I come in here I will I'm just gonna go to camp really quickly I think that's a good idea oh someone's got something for me oh <gasps> starian Ooh. I need a moment for the two of us I F was it an E oh god even a letter damn language is this Oh, he does want me to talk about it. Okay. Want me to take a look? Doing some stretches before bed? Nice scars. Who's the artist? Want me to take a look? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. <gasps> Oopsie. <laughs> sorry, I'll leave you alone. Me, what are you doing? Just looking. What's that on your back? Oh my god, I should say sorry I'll leave you alone. But I'm gonna say me, what are you doing? I... Well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them. So I've been trying to feel my way about. Okay. They may as well be written in Rashini. Let me have a look. Want me to get a mirror? Well, you can't see in the mirror. Want me to have a look? I... This isn't your problem, you know. Yeah, 
but I feel like we're like, you know, getting closer, so. Uh, I know, now shut up and turn around. All right, if you don't want answers, you're right, it's not good luck. <laughs> I know, shut up and turn around. Fine. The runes are carved in deep, brutal strokes, but the jagged letters mean nothing to you. Whatever language this is, you don't recognize it. And? What does it say? Hmm. I'm not sure. Hold still. I'll draw it for you. Nothing. It's just a bunch of strange symbols. There once was a cleric of Gond who was cursed with a very small one. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst. I'm not sure. Hold still. I'll draw it. huge what does it say should we ask the others they might know something it's a strange looking poem what does it matter you're free from him now I don't think we should ask the others because I think he'd be I don't know he's very like brazen but I think he's quite private about this what does it say I have absolutely no idea but it's no poem Two centuries carrying this, and I can finally see it. You really have no idea what it is? Someone out there will be able to read it, I'm sure. Disappointed? Um, why would it be disappointed? I don't know. Someone out there will be able to read it, I'm sure. I'm sure. But what would it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is, well, it's something. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I feel like that was even more sincere than the I love you. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I promise. Don't mention it. Just make sure it doesn't get us killed, all right? We'll figure it out, I promise. Will we? How sweet. Okay, does Gail have anything else to say? I've never seen such a concentration of shadow magic. We must forge on, but carefully. It will corrupt any who lack the power to control it. What's so different about shadow magic? What should it do to me? Oh, what would it do to me? You're a wizard. Shouldn't you be able to control it? You know me. I'm nothing if not exceedingly, exceedingly cautious. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that. You're a wizard, shouldn't you be able to control it? Not all it? wizards are made the same, nor do we wield the same powers. This magic is the very antithesis of all the weave stands for. The magic of confusion and corruption, drawn forth only by those desperate or damned enough to accept its degradations. Followers of Mistra, those who call on the true weave, are expressly forbidden to indulge it. Right. I thought Mistra was the god of all magic. Why forbid this? Mistra's domain is the weave and the magic that courses through it. These shadows were drawn from another source, created by another goddess. Oh. Shah. <gasps> Mistra cannot destroy it even if she wishes to, but she can try to ensure her followers resist its temptations. Now, I think it's time we moved on to lighter subjects, for we too are lost to the darkness. Was there anything else? So Gail, why don't you have beef with Shadowheart then? What does Shadowheart have to say then? This place. There's a power in these shadows, I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. Okay. Well, maybe we can I'm talk sure about Shah. 
But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Okay, so she's just still not giving anything. You should trust me, we're in the same boat. Let's see if that works. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Of course I have. <laughs> she doesn't sound very appealing, going by her titles. I've heard that Shah worship is vilified by many, forbidden outright in parts. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together, but I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company. Oh, I didn't mean that. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've, after all, what I shared with you about my past, about being saved from the wolf. All right. Let's end the day. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. The voice Daddy? of the absolute is strong here. Oh my God. <laughs> and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. <laughs> oh my god. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. <laughs> it wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. I did what I could, but I'm not sure they'll survive out there on their own. It was a waste of time. I regret it now. I didn't do it for them. The goblins were in my way, so I killed them. I didn't do it for me, yeah. <laughs> they were in my way. I commend your efficiency. The hurt runs deeper than he's willing to show you. What is it? Are you alright? Focus, don't you dare drop my protection. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. So you're the magic that's corrupted the tadpole in my head. Is that right, Daddy? <sighs> so as long as he lasts, I will last. Is that what I'm gathering from this? You then, step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. <laughs> She's with me. Oh, hello. They look like they're wearing Come. cleric gear. Jahira. Oh, <laughs> guess she's the boss. Whoa. What the hell? Another druid or? Just this once, I wish people would simply say hello. I've had to count to five. Oh, sorry. You have to the count of five to let me go. How uncouth. Legends led... Uh, me to expect better of the noble Jahira. Oh, do, are we supposed to know her? All right, let's go with that. It seems tales of my clemency have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> it's that voice. At least give me a chance to earn your trust. So it would seem. Did you hear that I saved your soldiers? I heard you were strong, smart. Seems I heard wrong. If you let me go, I'll happily amend the tales and add haste strangers. Footnote. You have not experienced my hatred, stranger. Not yet, at least. This oh. is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. Oh, sugar. Uh, <laughs> you we in for another fight? Come here, true soul. I'm not a true soul. Look at the harpers you saved. Accept your fate. Rage against the vines. I'm gonna look to the harpers you saved. Stop! What's she doing? Is oh she my god, Mo! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Wow. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. Jeez, that a was a soul with a mind of her weird. own. How is that possible? Because of this artifact? Oh God. I work in mysterious ways. You'll just have to take my word for it. I'm not showing her the artifact. I work in mysterious ways. Enlighten me. Now. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, charisma. I know it's hard to trust anyone right now, but believe me, I am not an absolute cultist. Yeah, but I've been branded. Um. All right, let's try the charisma. Oh, I needed 21. Ain't no way. No. <laughs> Let's give it a one more go. Come on. Let's add another one. No, I can't. Oh, a few. Okay, great. Now Jahir is not gonna stab you us. You learned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand why you the enigma that you are suddenly crossed our path. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? To destroy the absolute in its lair, Moon Moonrise Towers. I just want a cure for the parasite in my head. Moonrise Towers is my only lead. I'm here on holiday. My intentions are my own. I just want the parasite gone then our interests align we must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the absolute there's food in the inn over there beds too if you require rest aloe oil in the cupboard in case the vines gave you a rash settle in then come join me for a drink you may just be the godsend we've been praying for okay I expected to find lurking in this cursed gloom. Certainly wasn't this. I bet they're close. Glimmer of hope. Watch the darkness. That's one way of looking at it. You could also say it's a prime target. The one pocket of light in the gloom. Oh, pragmatism. Thy name is Shadowheart. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Best we keep our sojourn here to a minimum. Yeah, right. Yeah. Gosh. They look like traps. Where does that lead to? 
Oh, I don't know. Um, I wish we'd okay. gear up and head out. All this standing around is making me antsy. It's Jahira to come up with one. I don't. I do. Well, that's why we're still standing around. Catatonic. Oh. Isabel? Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. Am I going the, in the right direction? A guest log. Oh, who stayed here before? Jora. Grey Eye the Wizen. Anyone we know? Art colour. No, I don't know any of those. All right, where is Jahira? There she is. Let's don't wander far. We need to talk. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. If you don't give one to a starian, he's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> uh, to your very good health. Smell the wine first. I'm not thirsty. Could smell it first. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Oh. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. No, but it spoils my trust, which is true. I am prone to dizziness and fainting. Is it safe? It does spoil my trust. Indulge me. Okay, uh, look, I guess we've got no choice. Let's drink Bottoms it. Bottoms up. Oh, Astarian disapproved. Everyone disapproved. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? I don't know, it's giving me some good powers. That's about it, I think. I see now why you spiked my wine. Yes, the parasite is giving me powers. Oh. <laughs> I never had before. It's changing me for the better. I've done so much since the crash. Who's to say the tadpole that's changed me? Cloud your thoughts with uh, your madness. Weave a lie. Hmm. Let's go with the bard option. You speak frivolously. I do not believe you grasp the cost of what we're dealing with. Uh oh. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Um, what happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? I'm interested in saving my own skin, not yours. Whether you trust me is immaterial. I won't begrudge you that. But our interests align. And I hope no loyalty of that thing in your head to the absolute will interfere with our salvation. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. If he's back, perhaps he should have hit him harder in the first place. Who was, is he? Tales of the undead are often exaggerated. You're sure you killed him? Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. 
Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We oh. met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked ho You are that hope. It's rare people look at me and see hope. I'm trying to be, I'm trying my best. Uh, what do you have in mind? You think I can kill him? I don't think so. The light is rather dim out here in the Shadowlands. The point remains. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Catherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. I didn't... Did I tell her about the artifact? God, I can't even remember what choice I made literally five minutes ago. Catherick's days are numbered, I'm sure... I'll make sure of it. You want to make use of my infection, I want to be cured of it. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. The glorious true soul smocks will be the, the performance of a lifetime. I'm not doing this. Let's do the bard option. Without a cure to your infection, that lifetime might become rather limited. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Could just keep drinking wine, you know, in general. <laughs> How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. Mm, we saw her. She cast the moon shield around the inn. Oh. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Mate, she looked like she should be very tired. She was doing, like, intense spell casting. Potion of invisibility. Okay, let's go upstairs. What are you doing playing Lance board? Oh my god. Uh what the fuck? His Majesty? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maria <laughs> Try to muster some kindness and calm the creature. Meow. <laughs> well, at least you pair for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not in front of everyone else. Holy shit, man. I never thought I'd be so relieved to find a light in the darkness, or to see so many harpers clanking about. <laughs> At least you're pair for me. <laughs> At last, we find a beacon of light amongst the darkness, and not a moment too soon. I'm quite ready for some respite. Not 
the cheeriest of inns, this place. But I suppose the mortal peril lurking just past the firelight is liable to put a dampener on the mood. Catherick Thorm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Okay. Mate, I'm going to talk to Mole, then I'm going to talk to Raphael. The freaking devil is here. Your move, Mole. Oh. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm going to lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra or come for my Cyric. Hmm. Look who made it. For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where, yes, where you now, did. Chief? So, <laughs> do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. <laughs> it looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. Oh, did Gale? Gale knows a lot then. Gale's right. Put pressure on him. Attack the pieces in front of Cyric. Fall back. Protect your queen above everything else. You shouldn't be playing games with this man. He's a devil. Sorry, kid. I've never played Lance Board. Accidentally jostle the board, uh, the board mole's way. No, that's not nice. Kalashem fell because of nobility. Its nobility got cocky, but pressure put pressure on his king. Yeah, let's do that one. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. <laughs> How's that for Callum Sham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be hell? plucked. That's the weird. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. There's plenty about me you have no idea about. Is that why we're here? To play games? Just bugger off back to hell, would you? <laughs> a list of my many hidden talents would stretch Avernus and back. I can most certainly believe it. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Mm. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask oh. me. Oh. <gasps> I do. I have a... No. Proposal for you. A starian. A proposal. <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old... well... A long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Don't play games, Raphael. Help him out. This is a bad idea, Astarian. We should find another way. I don't think he knows. I could say don't play games, but he'll just be like, why? You know, I love them. But if I say, if I insult him and say, I don't think he knows, then he'll probably want to prove himself. Really? <laughs> it's something very important to your master, but... Is it a love letter, a warning, or 
a deed of ownership. I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. Uh, you'll get back to me? <laughs> this is important, devil. <sighs> when? Don't worry. I'm motivated <laughs> to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Oh my gosh. What, and just like that, gone. Why have I still got my torch out? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right here, actually I did light the torch. Bloody hell, all right, well, uh, what do you have to say about that? Hello, my sweet. Oh, nothing, okay. Let's go and see, um, the lady upstairs. Can I go upstairs? Oh yeah, oof, that was weird. Who's this lady? Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. Oh my gosh, that's very nice of you. A war drum, a loot. Where did that cat go? <laughs> Isabel's room. Patience. Isabel's diary. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my lungs. I cannot get it out. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never have come back. Is that Floric? Should we be disturbing her? I don't know. She looks kind of busy. Oh, this looks awesome. I didn't realize I had an audience. Sorry. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Save you? How do you figure that? And you, I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the banisher of shadows. I may have the parasite of a true soul, but it's not the mind, uh, but not the mind of one. Words get around fast. I know your name, but little else care to enlighten me. You're the protector of this inn? Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Probably.
The blessing falls uneasily over your tainted body. You can't help but dream. To kill her would destroy all of last light. You yearn for it so deeply. What? Uh oh. What? It's Shadowheart's favorite line. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. Oh, but there perfect. are places it won't help. Places okay. where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <laughs> Thank you. Now I must take my leave. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? No. Something's wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it Raphael? Oh my god, who the hell is this? Hello, Isabel. Flaming Fist Marcus. Marcus, <laughs> is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me. And you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. What are you? Isabel, do you know this man? I say we follow the winged freak. <laughs> Let's try that it one. It be your doom. And mine. Oh god, a star likes it. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Wait, what's going on here? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So there, they just seem like in the game there are just so many choices. So what could I do? I could just completely betray everybody at this inn and let him take her and then I could just side with Ketherick and just fully go down like the yes I'm for the absolute path I don't know I could try it, it does sound like fun alright so I can probe his thoughts for more info um, what does he want with her sounds like fun I'm with you I'm not like you I don't take orders from the absolute's cronies touch her and I'll kill you I could say it sounds like fun I'm with you what's going on if you oh, have shit. something to say, say it. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're trying. We're going to need to fight. Say nothing. You're going to meet Catherick face to face. Oh, shit. I don't know. Let's be really... Let's just go with Catherick. You. Oh, no. You're one of them, aren't you? What fools you both are. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is he's promised you. He already has. Time <laughs> to go, like, Isabel. It's like a hag raven or something. Whoa! Oh my god, what have I done? Resolve the abduction. Mole, no! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Moon Maiden, guide my hand. Remember, Catherick wants her alive, no matter what. This is a dear moment to play the Reaper you play so well. Why let him take her alive when you could flood them both with a bloodbath? Oh my gosh. What have I done? Flaming fist. What have I done? Honestly, what have I done? What am I to do? Uh, <laughs> I actually don't know what I've done. 
Do I attack? I guess I attack her. Oh shit, I need to daze her. I don't have Lazelle in my party. You make excellent fertilizer. Okay, I have no idea what I've done, honestly. <laughs> Do I want to shut these doors so they can't come in? I might do that with Shadowheart. Um, now there's something about hitting them with a knockout hit, but I don't know what, I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna risk it. Nice. Close the doors and then at least, I don't know, like Jahira and that can't come back in, I guess. Let's do a frog. Radiating orb. Got to move. She hit her with a touch. Oh dear. Damn, I shut one door and I forgot about another. <laughs> um, once they're alive, can't reach. Why can't you not reach? She's literally right there. Moving. Okay, so I need to toggle an uh, non-lethal attack, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, if I had Mage Hand... Oh, I do have Mage Hand. Can I shut the door? 
Will that shut her in or out? Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> is that how it works? Maybe? I don't know. Talk to me. Then suppose you can jump past her. Damn. Oh, we could go this way. Oh, I see. Well, is that a door? That's a doorway. Well, why don't we do that, Shadow Heart? Um, shut that there. Does this work? On I go. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, you can jump in there, little one. stop her movement I'm not entirely sure Ooh. the general will be pleased if you go quietly okay Astarian She's got 19 health. Mate, this is... She's going to... Oh, man. Uncanny dodge. Non-lethal attacks. Is that what I want? Crit miss. Oh, she's knocked out. I think I did it. I did it. I don't know why I'm so excited. Oh, oh my gosh, this is terrible. What have I done? Jahira, what? Jahira's gonna know what I've done. Why is he standing right next to her? Look at her knives though. Oh, that's pretty cool. <gasps> Isabel! No! Is this where we lie? <laughs> what in the nine hells happened? She was my sacrifice. It was a delight. Marcus was a true soul. He said he was taking Isabel to Catherick Thorm. I helped Marcus kidnap I Isabel and now I'm going to watch the shadows consume you. I was curious to see what you would do without her. The Absolute's force has happened. Now we know where, what we're up against. Ooh, do I say that it was a delight to sacrifice her? <laughs> this is terrible. It was. She was my sacrifice and it was a delight. You wretch! To think you had my trust? If this be my last act, let it be in service of strangling the life out of you! Harpers, we must cleanse. But hark, something stirs. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no.
It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. For a little while longer, you and I are destined to fight side by side. But if the shades don't take you, I have the next claim on your head. Until then, to battle. Oh my god. There are so many enemies. Okay, turn off the non-lethal strikes. Oh my god, what have I done? Might be, um... I might need to... <laughs> Just try to run, I think. Oh my god, should we just test his netherese orb? Mm. I'm gonna do it. Mm, let me move this way a little. No, I can't move, I'm gonna do it. No! <laughs> Here we go. Can I use the scroll of revivify in combat? I mean, I don't feel like I need to, but just thought I'd ask the question. Oh, no, he's got plenty of health. We're fine. Oh my God. I can't believe that we actually did it. Oh, a crit miss, Starion. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> On the way. Smell my fate. All right, great. We're going to, yeah. Smox can take care of her. Starion can go and kill these trees, hopefully. Oh, God, they're up 48. Um, I feel like we can do it from a safe distance. Once Smok's down here too, then we can throw these. Actually, can I just throw that? I can. Hurry. Oh my god, that literally did two damage. <laughs> Never mind. Never a dull moment. All right, Smoxy, take care of that person, please. Oh, fucking perfect. All right. Let's go here. Jump down here. Might lose two HP, but that's okay. Oh, that's Shadow Heart, right? We don't want to take all this shit. Oh, I'm encumbered. That's not good. <laughs> this is because I insist on uh, looting while I'm in combat. Hell yeah. All right. Where do I go from here? Wow. I can't believe it, but we actually did it. <laughs> we actually took out everybody. Jahira is dead though, so I don't exactly know what that means for us. But, um, wow. <laughs> There was like about 40 of them. Plus also I had no idea what I was doing with like necrotic damage versus radiant damage, etc. Like I didn't look into that. So imagine if I had have. Life comes easy these days. Wow. OMG. Okay, well, I can tell that this episode is probably going to be a long one to anyway, so I'm going to call the episode here. My name is Smux from Celebrant Quest. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, see you back in the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Hopefully we can press on. Hopefully I haven't completely ruined the story for myself. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun and a lot of learning. All right, take care, guys. Bye.